Bismillah madrim. The mechanism of labor is the topic of our discussion today. What is meant by mechanism of labor? The cardinal movements of head of the baby during its passage through the birth canal are called the mechanism of labor. It is a continuous process of seven discrete movements which include engagement, descent, flexion, internal rotation, extension, restitution and external rotation. The first step is that of engagement, which is the passage of widest diameter of presenting part to a level below the plane of pelvic inlet, means at the ischial spine level. Next comes descent. After engagement, the head descends. It occurs by uterine contraction in the first stage of the labor and by uterine contractions and maternal expulsive forces in the second stage of labor. Third step is that of the flexion. With further uterine contraction, the head descends and fluxes so that it can pass through narrow maternal pelvic cavity. This passive movement occurs in part due to surrounding structures which help in minimizing the diameter of presenting part. In well flexed head, the occiput will be the leading part. Next come the internal rotation. Internal rotation takes place at the level of mid pelvis. With uterine contractions, the well flux head descent and occiput will touch the sloping floor of the pelvic cutter and rotate anteriorly to come to lie just beneath the symphysis pubis. This is called the internal rotation of the head, which occurs at the level of ischial spine. So, internal rotation is 90 degree anterior rotation of the fetal head. Next step is that of the extension. With further uterine contractions, the head descends. The only movement possible at this point is that of the extension. Now we will talk about the crowning. With uterine contractions and maternal expulsive efforts, the head extends and distends the vulva. This is called crowning. At this point, an episiotomy in scene has to be given if required. With further extension of the head, occiput act as fulcrum and chin and mouth sweeps in front of the pelvis and head delivers. Next stage is that of the restitution. Now the head aligns itself with the shoulder, which are oblique at the pelvic inlet by movement through one eighth of the circle and this movement is called restitution. So restitution is 45 degree posterior rotation of the fetal head. Next stage is that of the external rotation. Shoulders enters the pelvic inlet in oblique direction and rotate to lie in anterior posterior diameter at the outlet. This internal rotation of the shoulders is exhibited externally by movement of the head to further one eighth degree of the circle and that is called the external rotation. So external rotation is further 45 degree posterior rotation. Next comes the expulsion anterior shoulder will be delivered by slight downward traction and posterior shoulder in opposite direction. Rest of the baby will be delivered in the same or successive contractions. Now let us summarize the whole mechanism of labor. Here is a summary of all the cardinal movements of the head of the baby during labor. All those seven discrete movements include first of all engagement which is the passage of widest diameter of presenting part to a level below the plane of pelvic inlet. Next comes the descent. So after this engagement, the head descends. It occurs by uterine contraction in the first stage of the labor and uterine contraction and maternal expulsive forces in second stage of the labor. Third is that the flexion. So with a further uterine contraction, the head descends and flux so that it can pass through narrow maternal pelvic cavity and this passive movement occurs in part due to surrounding structures which help in minimizing the diameter of the presenting part. Next comes the internal rotation which takes place at the mid pelvis. So with the uterine contraction, the well flux head descent and occiput will touch the sloping pelvic floor gutter and rotate anteriorly to come to lie just beneath the symphysis pubis. This is called the internal rotation. Next is that of the extension. So with the further uterine contraction, head dis descends and the only movement possible at this point is that of the extension. Next stage is that of the restitution in which head aligns itself with the shoulders which are oblique at the pelvic inlet by movement through one eighth of the circle and this movement is called restitution. The last step is that of the external rotation means shoulders enter the pelvic inlet in oblique diameter and rotate to lie in anterior posterior diameter at the outlet. 
This internal rotation of the shoulder is exhibited externally by movements of the head through further one eighth of the circle and that is called external rotation. So thank you so much that was all about the different cardinal movements during labor. Subscribe on Obs and Gaini. Allah Hafiz.